What are the biggest differences you've found living here now for this lot? Like, well, even just in general, like biggest oh, things that you've ever been so different compared right. to being a, home. We should do a, a <laughs> chapter two podcast just on that because it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, you can give me the highlights. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's quite interesting how um, the game is so different. You mm. know, like uh, the culture is different. The values that people carry are different. Uh, obviously, the language is different. The expressions are different. Uh, how you do things are different. So uh, uh, for me, it was a massive shock at the beginning, but I loved it. I loved it from the word go. What I was the biggest shock? People's personalities or just uh, how I think the, the culture shock was, was conducted? Like, I got here, I couldn't speak a word of English. So, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So that's... Probably my biggest thing was that's like, ballsy just to move straight to New Zealand without speaking a word. Not in English. A word, honestly, I couldn't. What speak was a word. the reason? More opportunity. More opportunity. That's yeah. something I haven't really heard. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, just the whole um, old school immigrant reason, which is getting the fuck out of a place that doesn't work for you, so you can find more opportunity for tomorrow. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, honestly, I like, know glamorizing or, or BSing. I left Brazil because I come from a very, very humble family. And in a country like Brazil, it's very similar to India. You're from a layer, you stay on that layer. Mm. You know, like it's harder to break through. When in New Zealand, you having a coffee at Kohi Marama Cafe and then Josh Emmett just grabs a coffee with you. And you're like, didn't I see you just on TV last night? Yes, you did. And then now that's it. Like all the mm. the, the realities are mingled. You know, like you go right. you go for it's not as completely separated. It's like it's the very Brazilian not, celebrities it's very are not like, Ooh, yuck, like these poor people. No, the, the majority of people <laughs> that would say it is separated are okay. people that are not traveled enough. You know, okay. uh, I don't mean to offend anybody, but that's truth. If you think that New Zealand is segregated, you haven't traveled much. Mm. You know, because like the world is much more segregated than New Zealand. New Zealand is like, you need to go and pick this thing up. You go to Watara. Ah, oh, Watara is the biggest uh, country, or the biggest um, uh, area in Auckland that has biggest violence. Yeah, but you, you're there all the time. You mm. know what I mean? Like you go and grab this and you go to, um, you go from Otara to Remuera, you know, mm. and it's like, okay, the economy is just completely changed, but people are in those realms, you know, like they're overlapping mm. there quite often. Mm. When countries like Brazil, you don't go to the rich areas if you're poor. And if you're rich, you don't go to the poor areas. You stay you just, more inside the, your own bubble, yeah. more so in your yeah. own bubble. And, and, and also social as well, like the, the malls, the, the, the restaurants, the bars, the shops, the, mm. the parks, the whatever the hell it is, they are much more segregated. And mm. obviously I don't mean segregation as in, like, yeah, yeah, I know it's not going to be like whites only yeah. sign on it or mm. rich only sign, obviously not, but you just don't, you just don't go there. You know, like it's just, it's, it's an unspoken rule that it is segregated, you know? And yeah, there is a middle line, of course. There is a middle line that is the guys that will be, um, you know, kind of like going where a bit more powerful would go and then kind of experience where um, the less fortunate would experience. That's the middle layer. But the middle layer is much smaller. It's a small layer. The big layer is the filthy rich and sure. the people there. I don't know if I'm going to be, pay, be able to pay for lunch today. You know, mm. those are the big chunks. When in New Zealand, it's the opposite. In New Zealand, we have an increasing layer, but a small layer of billionaires, you know, yeah. like the actual uh, powerful rich in the world. And then a small layer of, I don't have money to buy bread and butter today. You know, mm. so, and then you and me. Most people can afford the necessities. Most, most, most like people in New we, Zealand. if we had to break it down. Absolutely. Most people, yeah, that's, most people in New Zealand are what you and I are, you know. We live in a house that doesn't rain inside. We have a car. Uh, we uh, sometimes every, I don't know, year or maybe two years, we get to go to Bali, you know, like a little international trip or we go to, to Australia and you have clothes and you have your stuff and we're good, you know, like, and we sweet as and we have a, a medical problem and you go and pay for the doctor and we're good to go. So like, that's the majority of us, you know, like that's your mates, my mates and, and the majority of people and maybe, mm. oh, but John is a business owner. He makes 200 K a year and Mary is uh, struggling a bit more and she works as a, as an assistant for somebody else and she makes 60 K. Yeah, but that's the gap. Mm. 60 to 200 is the gap, you know, like that's kind of where majority of us are, you know, like that's, that's it. And then you go, obviously you go to the rich people and then the actual own big companies and then, uh, yeah, cool. But I guess what I'm saying is that the biggest difference for me from Brazil to New Zealand was that 
Here, the opportunities are much more around you. Mm. In Brazil, the opportunities have to be made uh, and it takes so much more effort, much more time to make the opportunities, you know, like of connection and, and people. Saying that, it's much easier to sell things in Brazil than it is here because it's mm. 220 million people country. So whatever the hell you decide to sell nowadays with the power of the internet. I was going to ask you about the population part. Coming to New Zealand because we're so much smaller. Some people I know from, uh, I remember I was in a band with a guy from Bangladesh mm. and he said coming here from Bangladesh, I don't know what the population is, but it's huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was like, kind of freaked him out how quiet it was. Mm, I love it. Did that, that was all right for you? I love it. Oh, sweet. I love it. I love no, it. I good. absolutely love it. Because he told me like one thing he had to get used to was like going to, going to sleep because he's used to like, you know, noise, cars, screaming mm, on the road, mm. shops, yeah, you know, yeah. hustle, bustle and yeah. coming here. It's just like. No, no, no. I, <laughs> uh, I guess I, I absolutely love it. 